One day before the 30th anniversary of the deadly Mianus River bridge collapse, there are new worries about the state of Connecticut's bridges. A study by the organization Transportation for America finds that many of Connecticut's bridges are structurally deficient. So what does that mean? Are they safe? And what is the uh, cost to Connecticut taxpayers? Well, Fox Connecticut's Louisa Moeller investigates. The Mianus River bridge collapse. For Representative Fred Camillo, it's still all too real. In fact, I know people who lived, live right over there underneath the bridge. On the night of June 28, 1983, 100 feet of Interstate 95 buckled into the Mianus River. Three people died. Three others were seriously injured. The cause, the National Transportation Safety Board called it undetected displacement of the hangers of the pin due to deficiencies in the state of Connecticut's bridge safety inspection. Just going across town was a chore. I mean, you didn't even want to leave the house. That's how bad it was. And he worries it could happen again. A new study by the organization Transportation for America is shedding light on the current state of Connecticut's bridges. And the report card isn't good. It shows nearly 10 percent, or roughly 400 of the state's bridges, are structurally deficient. That means they can have deterioration, cracks, structural problems. In some cases, they can be fixed and maintained. In others, they're forced to close. And several of these structurally deficient bridges are some of the most traveled in the state, especially on Interstate 95 in New Haven County. This bridge over Metro North, for example, sees an average of 137,000 cars driving over it daily. And this one over the West River, 141,000 cars every single day. The study finds that most of Connecticut's structurally deficient bridges are located in New London and Fairfield counties. And we are coming up on the anniversary of the Mianus River Bridge collapse. Right. Is something like that possible in this inspection environment that DOT has? No. Uh, hands down, no. Kevin Nursick, spokesperson for Connecticut's Department of Transportation, says there are 331 structurally deficient bridges under the care of the state, and they are carefully inspected once every two years. Does that mean all of those? Are under some sort of repair right now? That means that there is a project or process initiated to deal with it. Nursing says the state is currently repairing 16 of the structurally deficient bridges. The price tag? Nearly a billion dollars. If you look at a rate of 16 bridges again yes. that are at a billion dollars roughly and I'm you have 330 of these. Correct. That doesn't seem to add up in terms of time and sure. money versus bridges that need help. We are now at a point um, uh, kind of like living in an older house where um, uh, everything is coming to, uh, to reach the, the end of its useful life at the same time. So safety, Nursick says, is not the issue. We can shut a bridge down long before it becomes a safety problem. It's funding. Funding on the federal level has basically remained stagnant uh, for five years plus. We know the age of the infrastructure, the average age is increasing. It's going to require more money to take care of it. And in June, the General Assembly raided the Special Transportation Fund, taking nearly $120 million for other projects. Nursick says that's undesirable, but out of his control. It's going to be very important to keep lawmakers uh, and the public engaged in that reality that we're okay where we are now, mm -hmm. um, but the needs are going to be increasing over the next 15 years, and that's going to be costing more money, so we're going to need to be aware of that and prepared to make those decisions. Mm -hmm. Louisa Moeller, Fox, Connecticut.